guys, this is Leo from here back from another video. And today I'm going to be giving my thoughts on LEGO Super Mario sets. These were revealed um, two days ago. And yeah, today I also have an announcement about my channel. And I'm starting this new series and this will take place after JLX and RG videos. Now, from now on, I'm just going to cover the news in JLX and RG video. Not anything else. Okay. Because, uh, you know, the Often RG videos is only for LEGO news now. And that other series I'm starting is called MLT2JLF. And that in that series, I'm going to give you my thoughts on LEGO sets that I cover in JLF2 and RG videos. But today is not that MLT2JLF video. Since I'm only covering Mario today. And today, we have a couple of news for Lego Mario, like we have 18 sets plus a rumor direct to consumers, which is a lot. And yeah, I calculated all prices and to get all of them, you have to pay $570, which is not a lot. I was expecting it to be $1,000 or maybe more, but $570 is okay. So let's take a look at the sets. There are all different kinds of sets here. We have a lot of variety. We also have these new character blind masks, which many people say that these are five dollars a pack, but I don't think these guys are five dollars. They look like four dollars and maybe more, like four point five dollars or something like that. But we have ten different enemies to collect in here. We got a white guy. We also got two trolls, a goomba, a black guy, this pink guy on the front. The blue guy, Bullet Bill, that orange guy on the back, and also the happy white guy. So yeah, I really like these. These are really cool looking, and some of these characters are not even exclusive. Like the Goomba, they are all, they come in like all of the sets, maybe. Like that, something like that. They almost come in all of the sets, except for two or maybe three. So yeah, at the end, I'm going to give these guys uh, an A because I wish they were $4 a pack, but they are $5 a pack, which I don't really like. I mean, these guys are just $4. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it for these guys. Let's take away the next set. This is a Star Course, and I've already talked about this set a lot, like five to six times maybe. I already talked about this set. Uh, and uh, now I discovered that this is the only set to get Mario. Like, he's the main character and they just cheap out and just include him in here. This is uh, a 60 hour set, which is a lot. I think I'm gonna give this one an, a B plus because I was almost going to give this one an A, but because of the price of $60, which is a lot, and it only has 231 pieces, that's why I just gave this one a B plus. I um, I already said B, but no, not B. B plus. It also includes Bowser Jr., but I never thought that was Bowser Jr. because I don't play Mario games. But yeah, that is Bowser Jr., not Bowser. Just I first I thought that just that's just a little Bowser or something, but no, that's Bowser Jr. And also there's a Goomba. In this. Let's go to the next set. Which is a card Fergus, and uh, this is a 50 dollar set for 468 pieces. It includes Piranha Plant, a Blue Guy, and a Koopa Troopa. Uh, I don't know how to spell, uh, spell that. And it, it has a pretty decent build for the Fortress. And I especially like the two different ways that you can go there uh, on the gameplay and also one thing I discovered that there is no instruction book in this set which is just in these sets I should say N no set comes with no set like I hate that, that there is no set not even one set in this way that has an instruction book I mean it has an instruction book but but that only has the guide not anything to build you have to download the app to build a set and yeah, in my opinion, this one is one of the fan favorites, and I'm going to give this one an A. It looks really cool looking. I wish this were 45, but it's not a big deal. I'm just going to get this one an A+. I wish on the other side, 
of the fortress, like on the uh, side that there is no piranha plant. I wish there was something else on there, but there is a play feature which you can uh, a little bit see there. I don't have much pictures about this. Many pictures for these uh, Mario says. Sorry about that. But yeah, um, in my opinion, this is a really cool looking set. The next set we'll take a look at is Jizzard's Pokey. This set is Mario eighty dollars and it includes two different characters: a Pokey and a Moni Mole, which is my second favorite character. I don't know. He looks really funny looking. And uh, yeah, there are some play features in this set. A cactus build and uh, once again, Mario is not included. This is probably my fa one of my favorites. And it, this is uh, my favorite set. I wanted a two twenty dollars set. I think that's a lot of trouble, which we're going to take a look at in a little bit. is uh, just a little uh, bad than this one. But I think this one is one of the best $20 set ever. Again, it includes 180 pieces and it's $20, which is really cool. And yeah, I just really love this set. And I'm going to give this one an A+, because it's so awesome. The Wands Lava Trouble has 133 pieces. And I especially love Wamp's build. But um, I do think this set can do just a little bit better if they include like maybe 200 pieces or something like that that will be awesome but it's not a big deal I'm going to give this one an A since this set is really cool again I just love that play feature over there which you can put Mario which is not included in here and also I just love these new shell pieces that they are using on Koopa Troopa and also Bowser Jr. and some other characters I just really love them they are interactive uh, pieces and I just really really love them and uh, that plain guy I don't know the name of tell me in the comments who is that guy I don't know the name of that but uh, let's take a look at the next set which is a boomer barrage I think this set is overpriced I mean is this a ten dollar set you can make it twenty just like mom's lava trouble but they made it thirty dollars which is a lot I mean, it, it does include a uh, Boomer Bill build, Super Mushroom appears in this set, as well as Shy Guy, which is, I think, the only way to get Shy Guy, uh, but I might be wrong. But yeah, I just love the Shy Guy build here, it looks really cute looking. I also love, especially love the Boomer Bill build, but I wish this was $20, but this set is overpriced anyway. Just like Toast Ranger, which we're gonna take a little bit. So I'm gonna give this one a B plus. I wish there was one other character included in here, but it's not a big deal. Mario's House and Yoshi is one of the best sets of this line. I mean, might be my fourth or fifth favorite of this line. It just looks really cool looking. I just really love it. It's also just thirty dollars. Is a really good price for this set. I mean, it only has 205 pieces, but I do think this set is really cool looking. Hey, it's also the only way to get Yoshi, which has a pretty similar design, just like the Koopa Troop and Dry Bones. They're all, they're all three pretty similar, but Yoshi's design I just really love. I think it's the best, but I just love that little bed build for Mario, and Mario's house build is also a little bit small than Paper Mario one, but it is the same one because uh, from the Paper Mario game, since so that's the only game we ever get to see uh, Mario's house. So yeah, it also comes with another Goomba, which are all around. If you want to just get a Goomba, you can buy any set, but I think this is the best one to buy for a Goomba. So let's take a look at the, the next set. Oh, I almost forgot about my uh, bot on this one. I think the real price is really good for this one. And um, and yeah, this set is just so cool looking. Uh, I'm going to give this one an A+. It looks really cool looking in my opinion. And this is one of the sets that you just have to buy. I just really love it. 
even though if you don't like it just buy it it looks really cool looking just buy it for yoshi it looks really cool let's take a look at the next set toad treasure hunt is my third favorite set out of the line it includes 464 pieces and it's 70 bucks which is a lot uh so i want the design for toad and toad app and uh, uh goomba pairs in this set and uh, this set is really awesome for the toad bills i think there was a yellow toad in here but it's not a big deal and also i love the whole horse bill it looks really cool looking and yeah i don't know what to say for this set if it was fifty dollars i was going to give one an a plus if this was 60 i was going to give this one an a but it's 70 so i have to give this one a b plus but let's take a look at the next set which is a retail exclusive thumb drop and it's 40 dollars which is a really great price for this one but uh it still feels like a 40 dollar set i mean it has 393 pieces which is a really good price for 40 dollars but i don't think it has much pieces i mean it looks like a small little set or something like that it looks like a 20 dollar set but in my opinion this set uh, is my one of my least favorites because it's so small looking it don't have much bills look um uh, bills in here but and in on the box there's just the just a little bill for the thump drop thingy and uh, but no that's a pretty huge bill but i can't show that picture because i don't have it but i do think the thump bill looks really cool looking and i'm at the end i'm going to give this one a b since it's not that bad of a set yeah, you can probably buy if you want but I do think uh, if they made it 30, I'll probably give this one a B plus anyway. But let's take a look at the next retail accessory. And that is King Boo and the Haunted Yard set. It includes 431 pieces. And this feels like a $60 set, but it's not. It's just a $50 set. Which looks really cool looking. And it doesn't feel like it has 431 pieces. It feels like it has maybe... 600 700 pieces but it only has 431 pieces which is really cool it comes with three characters uh those like hands for king boo it looks like a mech uh something like that on the middle right there and also there are a lot of spider web pieces in this set we get two goombas i think and two of those guys those like hand guys for king boo and king boo himself in my personal opinion this one well i like spooky stuff and this is a set i really want you guys to buy and it's 50 dollars now keep in mind all of these sets are going to be released on august 1st not right now maybe we'll got them early from like a nintendo like the students but in other channels like that but uh yeah let's take a look at the next which is a mod team mold and super mushroom set. I'm going to use one up in A plus because it just looks all good, even though it doesn't have that much of build. It has only 163 pieces, and uh, this is one of the two ways to get a mod team mold, and one of the three ways to get super mushroom. And that rock guy, I don't know the name of. Tell me in the comments of who is that rock guy. So, yeah, there's a power block in this. I really love and I think this is one of the best promo sets ever there's also a promotional poly bag which I think that's the only set that that mystery box comes in but I might be wrong also super mushroom appears in here and uh, this is a small cute little poly bag and I'm gonna this one uh, uh, be it an A plus because this is so cute looking and yeah let's take a look at the next set which are the power packs and fire mario is my favorite not really my second favorite and i'm going to give this one a b plus not really a b actually because i don't think these are that useful but you can add them to your collection 
Uh, the other one that we get is Propel Mario, which I'm going to give this one a, let me see now, a C plus. Because it's not a bad one, but I don't think it's good either. It looks really bad. You can just more, you can just collect more coins with it. That's all. There's also th there's also this Builder Mario, which is the worst one out of them all, and this is a C one because I don't really care for uh, Builder Mario, but I want to complete my collections. But it's uh, ten dollars each. So yeah, I think that's a pretty good price for these little guys, but they only come with 10 pieces, so I don't think mm, that's a good price. I mean, the even the character blind bags come with 23 pieces, and they're just $5, and these are $10 each. So yeah, I don't think these worth it that much, but hey, just buy these little guys. We also have Cat Mario, which is B+, plus because... It makes really cute sound, and I just really love those cute sounds, and that's why I think this is my favorite one. But let's take a look at the next, which is Bowser Castle Boss Battle Set. It includes a Dry Bones, a Flame Guy, Bowser himself, and Boo. And yeah, I think this set is one of the buy right away because it looks really cool looking. It's a really good place set, and. Yeah, I just love that boss battle kind of look here, and yeah, it has uh, really cool characters, in my opinion, like Bowser looks so good. Uh, I did say in my uh, first day of the nerdy video that Bowser looks like a random guy, but he's not. I think he looks, he looks really cool looking, but yeah, in my opinion, I'm going to use one uh, uh, an A+. Plus. It looks really cool looking, and her order is a really good price for this one. The Piranha Plant Power Slide, which is uh, also one of the uh, bad sets. I think $20 isn't enough for this set, but hey, uh, and $3, this says $3, which I don't really like. It includes uh, a time block piece. Which is this is the, I think the only way to get that time block piece I think but I might be wrong and also it comes with a, a Koopa Troopa tell me in the comments if I'm saying that right so yeah it, uh, it also comes with a Goomba and Pram Plant which is one of my favorite builds out of the whole Mario line and I think this set deserves a B plus because of just for that piranha and those green slide pieces. And I think, sorry about that black light, but I think this set can connect to the promotional set, but I might be wrong. So yeah, so yeah, tell me in the comments if you guys are excited for these set. I'm really hyped. It's also one of my, it already became one of my favorite LEGO themes of all time. It just looks so good. It has a lot of interactive features. My only, um, complain about this theme is that it doesn't show anything in the instruction book like they also and they just have a guide in the instruction book not anything uh, like how to build that set I don't I think that's pretty bad but I'm really 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 hoping that that uh, app is available on uh, uh, Android because many Lego apps are not available on Android since I use Android myself. So yeah, I think I'm gonna give this one, this whole theme an A plus because it is so awesome. And just like Monkey Kid, it's also really cool looking, it has really cool features. And there's also a rumored Dirk Doomer set, which is going to be a Princess Peach Castle. And I think that there's going to be a Luigi in that set since Luigi is not even in one set like they put Yoshi they put Bowser Jr. they put Bowser they put Toad and Toad at both they put Goombas throughout the sets they put Prom Plants Koopa Troopas but they didn't make a Luigi figure which I think it's going to appear in this 509 set which is going to be one of the most expensive direction Junior sets. And I'm uh, so let's predict the mini figures for this set. 
uh, many people are saying that it's probably going to be the Princess Peach's castle and uh, I do think that it's going to be a Princess Peach's castle and it's going to include Mario no not really I don't think Mario will be included in this set since he is only in the star set maybe they will include him since they're ha uh, taking a lot of money for this set so maybe they'll include him. and also I'm really 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 hoping that we'll get an interactive Luigi figure which will be awesome and also Wario and Waluigi since our villains but not that popular um, maybe they'll include them uh, as an interactive one but I'm really I really think Lego would keep out and just do brick ball version of them and the other character I'm really predicting is Toad and yeah he's only one set and probably Yoshi and Toadan are also going to be included in this set. Since they're taking five or nine so they have to include at least nine characters and maybe Bowser will be included, who knows? And also Princess Peach. If it's going to be a Princess Peach's castle, then Princess Peach will probably in that set. So what do you guys think of all the Mario sets? And tell me you guys tell me in the comments what's your ranking about these sets I, I soon i'm going to do a uh, ranking video so stay tuned for that and like this video subscribe share this and yeah thanks for watching and i'm going to see you guys in the next video bye